Hey guys, it's Kristen with Asta Cielo y Mas, and today is Friday, September 29th, uh, 2017, and this is my 41-week duodenal switch update. Um, I have a lot to tell you today, and uh, not much time because I'm actually baking, and I've got to get in to check it um, in a bit. Um, I, I really am not that great a baker. Uh, I know you guys probably saw that I put up a video this week. It's a pretty special video. It's with me and my mother-in-law cooking, baking together. We made the uh, low-carb yum um, pumpkin cream cheese filled uh, pumpkin bread. Uh, low-carb pumpkin cream, chill, cream cheese filled pumpkin bread. I'm not editing this. So anyway, um, it's delicious. I highly recommend it. Please go watch the video um, if you haven't seen it. This is the seasonal keto low carb item of the season. So you got to try it. Anyway, um, I'm a hot mess today. Um, big shout out to Lisa, Mini Me in Tennessee. I am a Texan hot mess today. And uh, I'm a hot mess because my life is chaos right now. Um, good chaos though. I'm doing pretty well. Um, uh, this week the weather has been nuts and it's been really affecting me, my vestibular condition. We have had rain since Sunday and I have lived in Texas for almost 15 years and we have never had weather like this in 15 years. We don't get crazy weather like this. So it's been really weird. Um, I started this journey, uh, last July at a weight of over 450. Um, but by the end of last July, I was 435 and I had my first bariatric consult and I found the ketogenic diet and was able to lose 64 pounds before surgery on December the 6th, 13th, December the 13th, 2016. And I had a weight of 371 on my surgery date. Last week I came to you with a weight of 271. So I was at the 100 pound lost mark since surgery. And this week I did really well and lost 4.2 pounds and was 266.8 on my weigh in day, which is Tuesday. However, I also had a doctor's appointment on Tuesday and was put on prednisone and have gained some weight. Um, my face seems kind of full and I feel really bloated. Um, I have my, um, my form from Walgreens and it says that uh, you can expect a big weight gain, swelling in the arms and legs, and skin changes. And uh, you oftentimes will get fat, like a feeling of fat pad or fullness on the neck. And uh, But um, the reason I went to the doctor on Tuesday is because, as you guys know, a couple weeks ago I had a break out of shingles. Um, I am a recurrent shingles patient. I tend to get it uh, over and over again, um, generally when I'm stressed, and it's um, full-blown uh, with neuralgia, which is nerve pain, back in the same place that I'd had it originally. So um, I had uh, vestibular shingles. I had uh, a condition called Ramsey-Hunt syndrome where I had shingles inside the inner ear. It's extremely rare. And I had horrible neuralgia pain in the helix of my ear and horrible ear pain and behind my ear in the mastoid. So um, the treatment for that is valcyclovir, Valtrex, for seven days, three times a day. And I finished that and then still had the nerve pain. So I went to see my doctor and he put me on prednisone for five days. Now, because we are bariatric patients, um, he also put me on pentoprasol and he only prescribed five days of the prednisone and so, um, if this doesn't work, I need to get, uh, steroids in eardrops, eardrop steroids for the inflammation of my ear. But I had been planning to go to the doctor, um, to see him because I actually have a shoulder injury that I don't think I've talked to you guys about. Um, I had a, um, uh, injury at the pool in uh, water aerobics class um, using too much resistance with my water weights for too long a period of time during a class and that was about almost two months ago and it has affected me pretty dramatically so the doctor worked me up and said that I have a tear in my terrace minor muscle which is not 
a uh, tear that requires surgery for the rotator cuff, but basically it affects my ability to move my arm back and forth and I have a lot of pain and it feels like it's jammed. Well, that's because of the inflammation. So he's hoping the prednisone will help that as well. And he gave me some stretches, told me to ice it, but it's been two months, but he thinks it's going to heal without surgery. So, oh goodness. Anyway, um, I've been going through a lot with my kids. Um, it's been really chaotic, uh, this week in a good way. Having my mother-in-law here, it's a lot of, um, Spanish, <laughs> A lot of Spanish and uh, that takes brain power that I don't always have but um, I have been um, I made an appointment for my mother-in-law to go to the doctor on October the 10th please keep her in prayer um, she did not bring any medication with her for her diabetes and she's a pretty fragile diabetic she actually went off insulin and just came without anything um, so I was able to get an appointment the earliest I could get was October 10th and I'm keeping um, a log of her blood sugars um, and they are approaching 400 um, we've had over 400 and um, so I've been trying to prepare um, keto like um, keto light uh, recipes for her and um, trying to encourage her to um, eat differently but you know 65 years of being in Honduras this is her first time in the United States everything's new the entire culture climate, um, just everything. It's a little bit overwhelming. Um, she's intimidated by all of my appliances, my stove, my sink, my dishwasher, my Keurig. Um, it's intimidating. And, um, so, uh, yesterday she did cook and, uh, I did eat a tortilla. I got fed. <laughs> So I got to work on that, guys. But Sunday's when I start my ketogenic cleanse, my 30-day ketogenic cleanse with my San Antonio Keto Group. And I am excited. I'm a little nervous. I don't think I can follow the Maria Emmerich cleanse to the T. But I do intend to give up something for the month. Um, and what I'm going to give up is um, erythritol and artificial sweeteners. I'm not going to be eating any sugar-free candy or any um, sugar-free baked goods. So this pumpkin cream cheese bread that I made, that's amazing. I won't have it again until November. And I'm going to be giving up Halo Top and anything of that nature. Um, I do intend to sweeten my coffee, um, but minimally, and I haven't decided how I'm gonna do it, but probably with monk fruit. Um, however, it's hard to find a good monk fruit, um, that doesn't have dextrose in it. So I, I'm still, I have till Sunday to figure out how I'm going to sweeten my coffee. But, um, I know that, uh, VSG Tanya had tried to give up sweetening of the coffee and it didn't work. So thank you, um, Tanya. I, uh, I'm not even going to try. It's, it would, it would not work. So anyway, um, just let me check my time. Yeah, my uh, oh, my baked good needs another minute or two. But anyway, so that's kind of what's going on. Just uh, just uh, my my dog is very sick and near death. Not not my alley that you saw last week, but I have two dogs, Alegria and Osito. And Osito is fourteen and a half and um, not doing well. So uh, that's kind of causing some emotional distress. Um, my kids are having some issues with school. Um, school is not the same as it was when I went there. Let me tell you, it's changed. School has changed. And just, you know, um, dynamics are different in my house right now. But like I said, in a good way. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed at how well things are really, how well things are going. Um, I have, you know, had to retreat a couple times just to regroup. Um, I'm really missing out on videos, Instagram, Facebook, but it'll settle down. It'll calm down. So <sighs> breathe, breathe, breathe. Respira. Hmm. So I love you guys and I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for all the encouragement this week. Um, yes, my husband is really a happy, happy guy right now having his mom here. It's just truly a dream, truly a dream come true, and it's been fun. So go watch my video. You'll get a chance to meet her and uh, um, the one with the pumpkin cream cheese bread and make it because it's amazing. 
And God bless y'all from the heart of Texas. Love you. Take care. See you next week. Bye.